Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So today we're in our Vigan again and we're looking at the radio. Uh, it has an awesome radio in the Vigan. It takes, like everything in the Vigan, it takes a while to get used to all the weird symbology and stuff like that. But once you're used to it, it's super easy to use and just really cool and uh, rewarding because everything's hands-on in the Vigan. Nothing's done automatically. We're not a lot. Uh, right, so it can cover um, basically all frequencies that we're interested in. It can cover FM, uh, that's... 30287 megahertz it can cover VHF AM that is 1182143 megahertz and ultra high UHF uh 225 to 399 megahertz so whereas something like i don't know a Huey has three separate radios for each uh each different band there FM AM and UHF this has one radio that just covers everything which is super cool uh, right now we're in the mission editor because there's some stuff we need to do outside here first of all first of all let's look at our tower we're going to be just for ease of tutorial we're going to be talking to our tower today let's click on that and we can see we've got a um a vhf fm of 38.6 going to write that down a vhf am of 118.6 and a uhf of 250.2 to zero okay um it, it just happens we're using an airport we could talk to different flights we could talk to tanks on the ground we can talk to um refuelers anything we like really but that's how we find out that next let's click on our vigan now like most modern planes it it allows you to type in any frequency in the cockpit but but mainly it works off presets so we're going to click on it there and then we're going to go on this button here radio presets and here you've got the presets that work in the vigan in dcs yeah, special one two three e f g and h Okay, um, and you can set them to whatever you want within the um, FM all the way up to UHF band. So just um, as a, a, an, an ease, we're going to use H here, which is normally used for guard, uh, what, 243, I imagine. Uh, we're going to change it to our tower, just to prove for concept, 118.6. Okay, so that's, uh, and you could go and set all these to various frequencies if you wanted as well. Save that up, and let's get into the cockpit, standby. Okay, and we're loaded. Right, so let's look at the items that we've got to cover first of all. First of all, the manual frequency selector is this little chap here. And we'll go over that in a bit. Uh, next we've got, and I apologize, apologize, I don't read the manual as, as you know, I just figure things out for myself. So I don't know the names, but this is what I call the uh, primary radio selector. We'll go over that in a minute. And this, I believe, is a backup radio selector, presumably in case the primary fails. So uh, we've got knobs on the uh, manual frequency selector. So we've got this knob here, which can change the uh, single digits. This knob here can change the tens of digits. This knob here, 25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, sorry, and this here, the decimals. Okay, and we can switch between FM and AM. Onto the primary uh, band, uh, sorry, preset selector. So this here basically is our primary use of the radio and it allows us to choose a preset uh, frequencies as you saw we were editing them in um the mission editor and there's a whole bunch you can have all these different flights of vigans you can have or flights of planes flight one two three four five six seven eight nine none of these flights work in the dcs vigan these uh, banded uh, group and channel selectors here as far as i'm aware they don't work you can change them to your heart's desire but they don't actually do anything uh, we've got preset channels here h works special one special two special three works minus works minus is what allows you to use your um um, manual selector here and a G works B does not work C F does work C2 does not work and D E does work so the first thing we're going to do is use H oh uh, I should go over this one quickly uh, manual uh, sorry the backup selector so presumably in case this has failed here we have a backup uh, intercom button um, flight recorder for whatever that re reason is master volume control and band selectors H's guard EFG are working as per the uh, presets that we saw in the mission editor uh, so back to our primary selector we're going to select uh, preset H which we preset in the mission in the mission editor as 118.5 in fact before we do that sorry let me show you what happens if we try and contact tower without any frequency selected so oh I've got to show you the buttons as well right so we've got FR22 which is presumably the name of the radio push to talk I've got it as right alt and backslash we've also got an FR24 push to talk here as right control and backslash I'm presuming FR24 is the backup radio I'm not fully sure but um, I haven't seen any need to use it yet okay so we're going to press left uh, right alt backslash and we get the selector up here uh, so this is with nothing selected so 
Field one, one. If I talk, if I talk to the guy, you'll see that I do not get a response. Fingers crossed. And I have not got a response. Now let's choose preset H, which we set in the mission editor as 118.6. And we're going to try that again. Right. Oh, and forward slash, backslash, we're going to abort the takeoff. In field one, one. Abort takeoff. And there we go. And we could do the same with specials 1, 2, 3, G, F and D as well if we wanted. Right, and now we've just got to go through the manual selector. So put the minus on. Over to here. Uh, 1, 1... Oh, God, what was it? Uh, 1, 1, 8.6, apparently. So these... Oh, right, I should explain how to use these. Hover over the base of the knob or the top of the knob. Use the mouse scroll wheel on the appropriate position. So over the base of the knob here, mouse scroll wheel until I find 8. It is awkward. Uh, you just get used to it and suck it up. There. And there. And point six zero. So how do I do that? Uh, like that. And like that. We're on alpha mic. So that is VHF AM at the moment. Because we're in the VH band. Uh, try that. Right. Oh, backslash. And we should get response. In field. Fingers crossed. One, one. Request takeoff. There we go. You are Beautiful. If now if we want to switch to the ultra high frequency UF band, we've literally got nothing to do apart from just tune it in. It'll automatically switch to the other radio, the UHF radio. Um, this may take me a minute to figure out how to do this. Right there we go. Uh, it was two five zero point two zero. So, pew. come on. Uh, 250.20. Okay, and we will press right alt and backslash, and he should respond. In field, one, one. Abort takeoff. In field, Lovely. one, one. Taxi to parking area. So all that leaves us is FM, and I'm not sure if this is working, or I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong, but I can't get it to work. I click to FM there. Now the idea is FM frequency is 30 to 87 megahertz. Uh, now the problem is I can't get it below 100. So if any of you out there know why I can't get it below 100, uh, why I can't get it to FM, that would be much appreciated. As you see, the least I can get it to is 100 megahertz, which is not in the FM band. So either it's not implemented or I'm doing something wrong. Um, that's all I can think about saying for the radios. Um, that's all you're going to need, basically. I hope that helps, and I'll see you later.